To our top story tonight at 6, in a matter of days and after 13 years in office, Macon Bibb County Mayor Robert Rickard will finish his final term. A graduate of Stratford Academy and Mercer Law School, he's Macon raised and reared. But when 2020 ends, he will hand things over to incoming Mayor Lester Miller. I spoke with Mayor Rickard as he looks back on his service to this community. I hate to leave things undone. But I guess that's life. His to do list is still pretty long, but his time in office is growing short. You never get everything done buttoned up just the way you want it. Mayor Robert Rickard has spent decades serving the people of Macon Bibb. The Democrat is a military veteran and attorney. He served as a state representative and a Macon City Council member before becoming mayor in 2007. He has the honor of being the city of Macon's last mayor before consolidation. My campaign for re-election. And voters selected him to be Macon Bibb's first mayor after consolidation. It's uh, less expensive, it's more efficient, it's more effective. Rickard says consolidating two governments into one is his biggest achievement as mayor. A voters approved the consolidation in 2012. Rickert says it took about 16 months to finalize the merger of employees, services, and codes. The new consolidated government started in 2014 with Rickert running lead. We need to come together as a community. He was later re-elected for his most recent and final term in 2016. We have done so much to establish undeniably that consolidation is good for making a big county. The mayor says his second success is the second street corridor through downtown Macon. The bike, pedestrian, and retail friendly corridor connects the east side to the west side. I think it's really going to expand everybody's concept of what constitutes downtown. Rickert says it's an added boost to a booming downtown he was able to watch blossom as mayor for 13 years. The number of stores and loft apartments that have been built in the downtown area absolutely phenomenal however the mayor is leaving office accepting the fact other areas of Macon Bibb are not seeing the same growth you don't tell them no 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 you can't come out there no no you have to go in they're not going in South Bibb County Rickard says you don't fight with capitalism instead there are now tax incentives in place for companies that rehab abandoned and dilapidated commercial sites and plans are approved to extend the runway at Middle Georgia Regional Airport in South Macon Bibb to accommodate larger planes. The wagon's moving and it's moving in the right direction. But Mayor Robert Rickard is leaving office at a tough time. Macon Bibb is fighting both COVID and crime. This inability uh, of some people to be able to resolve interpersonal conflicts other than just with a firearm, a pistol, just pull it out and boom, boom, boom. Macon Bibb set a new record for the most homicides in one year. Rickert says he is proud of the partnership between the county and the sheriff's office, but community support is needed too. It's awfully hard uh, for the sheriff's office to prevent some of this interpersonal violence that happens within a home. Macon Bibb is also handling the coronavirus pandemic. It's a health emergency and Rickert's second extreme economic experience. We have had two bookends uh, to my time as mayor. Within his first two years as mayor, Rickert had to revive Macon after the 2008 Great Recession. Now in his final year, he's working to keep revenue going and businesses running during a pandemic. It's a job he will now pass on to Mayor-elect Lester Miller. Very aggressive uh, about taking over and making good things happen quick. So I'm excited and enthusiastic of, about his administration. And now as he prepares to leave office, Rickard can't help but to keep helping Macon. He plans to return to his Macon law firm, focusing on economic and community development. As a politician seeking office? I don't think so. I think you can put a fork in it. I, I'm done. <laughs> Instead, as a private Maconite. Now, I asked the mayor what projects or goals remain unfinished for him, and he listed two. He said he wanted to do more to address homelessness in Macon, along with the underlying factors of mental health and addiction. He also said that he wanted to help people in Macon, especially young males, develop the soft skills and training needed to qualify for new jobs.